So, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a Danish gekkebrev. Um, this is a gekkebrev that I got from my grandma 16 years ago now. And I'm going to show you how to make one yourself. You need a white piece of paper, fold it. It's all about using your creativity and your cutting scissor skills. You don't reveal your name, uh, write some dots instead of the letters in your name and then the get receiver of the letter has to guess who sent it. If you guess it, then the sender has to give you a chocolate uh, egg. And you also have a poem for that. I would usually write, Mit navn det står med prikker, hos på det ikke stikker. Which means, my name is uh, written in dots. Uh, be careful. Because they stitch. It rhymes in Danish and I think um, apart from all the silliness, the most important uh, thing about uh, the poem that you write in the Gegebro is that it rhymes. The Gegebro, I think it started like 400 years ago. Um, back then it was more like a flirt, not a love letter as such. It was just something you, you did or sent to someone that you liked. I guess it was a Facebook poke of the time. Um, you, you didn't receive anything as such other than a kiss if you guessed it. So maybe it was in like uh, a first date or something. 